Hi, this is Kelly Smith, and in this video, we're going to cover the simple process of restoring an Oracle database using the Zero Data Loss Autonomous Recovery Service. In the database console, click the Restore button, and three options are presented. Restore to Latest, Restore to Timestamp, and Restore to SCN. Restore to Latest is obviously going to recover the database up to the latest point in time represented by the backups that are available in the recovery service. Restore to Timestamp allows you to select a date and time for the restoration process of the database. And Restore to SCN is more of an advanced feature, so if you know the exact Oracle database system change number that represents the point in time that you want to recover the database, you can supply that. Once you've selected an option for your database restore, simply click the Restore Database button and the automation behind the scenes, which is integrated with RMAN, does the work to recover the database using the information that you've provided. And that restore process is going to show up as a work request in the database console. And that restore database work request will contain the details of the processes that are occurring to recover to restore your database. There's one other location in the console where it's possible to do a, re a restore. So if you go up in the resources area on the left-hand side, just above work requests, you'll see backups. Um, and in the backup list, there are three dots on the right-hand side. If we expand those, there's create database. Selecting this option will use this backup as the source for creating a new database. So you can use any backups that are listed in the backup history to create a database that represents that backup point in time. So that's really the, simp the simplicity of the process. You make your selections, you click the restore button, and the automation handles everything by behind the scenes. And the work request is what keeps you updated for progress of the activities that are taking place. I hope you found this information valuable and we'll continue watching the recovery service video series. Thank you.